As you return to work, you are probably wearing one of these to reduce the spread of COVID-19, and this is terrific. And yet wearing one means that your speech will most likely be muffled and perhaps difficult to understand. Just listen. Hi. Hi, my name is Linda Waltner Stuckey and I'm president of Clearly Speaking. And I want to give you a tip today about speaking clearly with a mask on. I'm gonna take it off just so I can show you something and demonstrate something for you. But first of all, I want to tell you that I'm a little bit about a little bit conservative about going out into public in the first place. But I did venture out recently to a local landscaping business. And here's what I saw. I saw everybody was wearing a mask, but most people were wearing it down here. And whenever they wanted to speak to me, they actually pulled it down because they knew it was hard to understand if they didn't if they had the mask on front of them but of course this defeats the purpose in the first place speaking with a mask on is much like speaking on the phone because there are no visual cues for your listener to read your lips for example but it's actually even worse because now your mouth is behind a mask and it has the potential to muffle your sound the temptation then is to pull that mask down to talk, but that of course defeats the purpose. Here are four necessary behaviors you can do while speaking with a mask to maximize your sound and your clarity with your mask on. Number one, use clear diction, sharp, clean consonants, especially at the ends of words and lengthen the vowels of, ex of stressed syllables in really exaggerated ways. Number two is to slow your rate of speech. I know that it's tempting to talk the speed you always do, but without this visual cue and a piece of fabric that's most likely pretty thick covering your mouth, you have to slow down to let your listener process your information. Number three, Use good breath support to help your voice carry behind a mask. Just take a nice deep breath before you speak and you will naturally give the support that is needed to support your vocal cords and make you louder. And number four, exaggerate your mouth movements. Pretend that your voice is a megaphone. Your vocal cords are the small opening of that megaphone and your mouth is the large opening. You can maximize the space in your mouth in order for your vocal sound to vibrate off the bony structures of your neck, your tongue, your teeth, your palate, all of, of which make up your vocal tract. You will be so much easier to understand if you do. All right. These are four ideas for you to make your speech clear and understandable. Good luck. I wish for you the best possible communication exchange as you return to work.